The president's trips abroad have raised eyebrows of the accusations from Nocturne NP Samokuja to Ablakwa that the president flies luxurious private jets in his travels. The NDC MP claims that Ghanaian taxpayer pays $14,000 an hour when the president travels in these luxurious aircraft. In a recent post on Facebook, Mr. Blackwa alleged that President Akufado hired a Boeing LXDIO private jet operated by Global Jet Luxembourg. Though the Jubilee House will not confirm or deny if the president travels on high jets for his trips outside the country, the Director of Communications of the President's Eugene says government through the Minister of Defense, Dominic Mitio, has begun processes to buy a new presidential jet for the country. You would, you would recollect that um, when the government of President John Ejokunkufo left office in 2008, it had procured two jets, the current um, Falcon and then a bigger Embraer, if I'm not mistaken. And for, for one reason or another, the bigger jet was cancelled and we were left with this particular one here. Um, I, don't, I don't know what I mean. Obviously, it would have made much more economic sense to keep the bigger one because obviously when that happens, when you're traveling with your delegation, and as you know, you don't have to send media people ahead of time. All of you can just go um, at a go. Saves cost and everything. But what well, it has happened, and you collect that the Minister for Defense um, has made it clear that government has decided to um, buy a bigger jet to save us from all these um, um, troubles. I, I, I wouldn't want to go into um, details. I'm sure when the Minister for Defense um, has the opportunity to um, give further information as to what government is doing with respect to that, I'm sure um, he'll do that. But I know for a fact that, yes, as he has rightly indicated, government is already in the process of acquiring a bigger jet for use. On the appointments of MMDC, we saw some agitations in parts of the country Mr. Ayn says the president expected these agitations. He decides what he has to do. If he believes, for example, the committee recommended that in, in um, the Jokuku, for example, Jefferson Saki, Kofi Japong are the ones who are supposed to be there. And he believes, no, <laughs> there's somebody else who is much more competent than these persons. He has every right whatsoever to appoint that person. So... The civil society organization, organization basing its analysis on that report first and foremost is flawed because, as I said, that report was not the report that was submitted to the president. And secondly, the president is the only one who has the power to hire and fire, and he can decide who he places where. I mean, appointments are at his pleasure. We all serve at his pleasure. So that will be my answer to that. And with respect to the agitations, yes, I mean, it's, it's to be expected. It's a human institution. You don't expect everything you put out there to be accepted hook, line, and sinker.